we're going to now have a look at creating some perspective sketches where we're actually combining shapes. So we're using one cuboid to create shapes initially and then add in features onto that by adding shapes to them. Okay. So if we start off now, we're not using horizon lines and vanishing points at this stage. Um, we, we've practiced already getting rid of those. We just have to make sure that our lines are converging and we're using them imaginary vanishing points in our heads. Okay. So as we get to our cube shape now, we'll do a couple of examples through this tutorial. So we've got our basic cube and we're, we're always starting off from that point. We can then create shapes onto this. So we're going to start with an angle that's cut off there, where it's intersecting. As we've done in the other tutorials, we're projecting that through. So when the lines are really close, you're concentrating on getting them as parallel as you can. And when they're a bit further apart, we're going all the way to that imaginary vanishing point using your ghost lines. Where them to intersect now, we're copying whatever we've done on one side, we need to do on the other. So I'm just rotating my page round to make it as easy and as comfortable for me as possible. And we've cut that angle off, okay? This is now, I want to add another shape coming out of here. So instead of projecting through, we're going to project out. So it's just going to be a vertical line to start with and then to the imaginary vanishing point there. I'm then going to look at the corners that I'd actually see. That's the only one I wouldn't see on this one, so I'm not going to draw anything there at the moment. I'm coming out though, imagining that this line is coming from the imaginary vanishing point right up here and through. So I'm using my ghost lines. And this way, when we're going this way, remember, they're not converging now. They should actually be getting further apart. Okay. So I'm coming through here, just making sure they're very slightly spreading as it gets further away. Decide on how far you want that back. Draw your next vertical in. Then this line is going to this imaginary vanishing point right up here. So draw our ghost lines in there. This line should be converging very slightly. And then you can draw your vertical line in there. And you can see now we've actually added those shapes together. We're going to keep making that a little bit more complicated and we're going to create within this. So this can be a little tray. So we're going to use our lines all the way around and because they're very close to the edge on this one we're concentrating on keeping them parallel to the lines that already exist so we're not over complicating the drawing and trying to draw too much to our vanishing points that line's already drawn in for us so we're all fairly happy so now we've got quite a complex shape where we've created a simple cube and added a section on we can go ahead and add our thick lines to the outside of this shape okay as you're adding the thick lines, just remember that spider rule. If it crawls over the edge, then it disappears. That line would become thick. If it wouldn't disappear when it crawls over the edge, then it remains thin. It's a nice easy way of trying to remember how to do that rule. So all of these remain thin, and we've got a couple in here that would go thicker. If you're struggling to keep your lines nice and straight and neat, because what we don't want is any of these lines around the outside to become furry. So if I started scribbling down that one, you can see straight away it starts to make the drawing look really scruffy. If you're struggling, try and practice just by drawing lines. So if you draw two X's, you can try and draw a line straight through the two of them. Okay, you see I've missed slightly, so I might draw my X's a little bit closer. And then I can try and draw through. Do a couple of those, and once you're happy the, at that distance, you can start to spread the X's out, and you can draw these nice straight lines. Okay? And you'll get really comfortable then to draw these straight lines so that when you're drawing your shapes, they look a lot neater. Try and keep as well, when you even add the thick lines, you're doing exactly the same. So you're just keeping one straight line. A straight line like that looks a lot neater than the people that do these furry lines. And they do look a lot neater then as the, as the drawings progress and they get more complex, especially. Okay, so you can see we've got then two shapes added together. So let's do another. So we're going to start our cute front edge, converging lines going to the one side, chop it off. Rotate round, converging lines going the other way, chop it off, and then finish with them opposite diagonals, making sure they're still converging now, of course. So we have our cube. We're then going to add another cube on top. So I want it coming from this front edge here. I'm going to project it back to my imaginary vanishing point, both sides, and then I'm going to take that up as well. So up from all three parts, and then from here to my imaginary vanishing point again, making sure that these lines are converging. And the same on this side, we're not keeping them parallel, they're converging very slightly. And the same on the back, rotating your page round. So you can see that we've added those cubes on top of one another now. 
add your thick lines in so it's fairly simple because we've got a nice simple shape remember that you don't want furry edges we're using nice long strokes to create them dark lines and then to finish all of that drawing off you can add your landing box in as well i'll do it so it joins them so a nice simple landing box remember we don't want these at really strange angles or anything we just want them simple to show off our drawings we want the emphasis to be on our drawings and not on the landing box. And on this one, we're going to do it very slightly differently, where we're just shading really up next to the shape and not all the rest of the landing box. You can actually draw them and they look quite effective without any shading at all. Just drawing that rectangle shape behind the object also adds that dr dramatic effect to your drawing. So you can see that now as looking quite complex as two shapes. Good luck.